Okay, so in our last video, we had our Connect 4 game working so that you can click in a spot and it gives you the appropriate color, it tells you whose turn it is. Um, but if you, but it's not falling to the lowest available spot, which it should do. So we're gonna correct that now, we're gonna work for that. So um, in our code, what we're gonna do is, um, so it's kind of, that's related to the Y spot, because remember the Y starts at the top here, zero and goes down. And in our grid, the um, that represents the row. So that's what we wanna do. So I'm gonna make a, a new method. I'll make it right below here in between the, uh, the mouse release and the mouse press, and I'm gonna call it um, public int. It's gonna return an int, like the spot that's available. Um, test for open spot I don't know just makes sense that name we'll go in X spot that's gonna take as a primer so that I because the X spot is the column that's how we know which column that we want to look at and then we'll test that column to see which rows available in that column if that makes sense um, we're going to um, we'll create a, a new int called Y spot now that's a local variable that this is also a local variable they don't know about each other um, we're gonna make that equal to um, rows which is a, a class variable we have and we're gonna see if we have to go row minus one because remember rows itself would be out of bounds in our grid and that's how arrays work they're zero based so um, we go rows minus one that's the first spot we're gonna look at because rows minus one will take us to the bottom row that's what we want to look at. And what we want to do is we're going to do a while loop here. And we're going to see what color. So we one of the things we want to see is um, uh, we want to know uh, if that it's not equal to white. Because remember, white is by default. So I'm going to say not. Because white is the default color. And so if white is in that grid, um, uh, then uh, we are... You know, good to um, drop a, a spot in. Um, so while it's not equal to, we'll continue the search. So once it becomes equal to, we're done searching. So we'll go Y spot. That's our row. And then our column is going to be X spot, which we get when we click. We're going to send this down. So we're going to um, we're going to do something like this, where we're going to override our our uh, Y spot here um, because really the X spot is the important one because that's the column and we're going to determine what the Y spot is we don't really need this was all good and dandy when we were just putting a color in um, the row that we the column that we uh, clicked on and the row that we clicked on but now we need to go to the lowest row in that column so this is the only one we really need to generate by our click and this one we're going to just find out by looking in the grid to see if that space is available. And so we'll go, you know, y spot equals test for open spot. And we'll send that x spot. Um, and we can do this because this is going to return an integer. And so this will have a value after it looks through here. Um, and so we'll go y spot is that. And so we're going to say, um, let's finish this. I was in the middle of this. So if grid y spot x spot um, is equals uh, new color and we'll do 255, 255, 255 because that's white. All right. And so that's going to look um, and make sure, you know, th this right here is pretty good. This is going to let us know. Um, if we get it, so if if this is um, true, which means um, it's not white, right? Because of the not symbol, then we want to look at the next spot. And to do that, we go y spot minus minus. So now you know we were um, row minus one. Now we'll be row minus two, and we'll keep going up and up until we find a spot that is white, right? Then we will exit this while loop, and we can return. We can actually do this where we say return y spot right um, one last thing you have to do so if a column is full um, this is just a protection thing you would do or 
y spot is um, less than zero. So if we put our you know uh, piece into a column that is already full, this will go until it becomes less than zero, which would be negative one, and we will return negative one, and we'll we'll deal with that. Um, what's it not like in here? We'll deal with that though. Um, oh, it's right there. Um, we'll deal with that in that we'll look up here. So if it's negative one, then that was an invalid column for us to click in. So we might want to say like, hey, try again or, or something like that. You, you clicked the wrong spot. Um, so that that's basically it. So up here, though, um, what we can do is we'll put like a, uh, a little if statement in. Um, let's see. So though could go like this i'm just copying some code that i have here uh, so right under this we'll go okay, let me just fix my formatting we'll say if y spot is less than zero um not a valid entry that will pop up otherwise then we're good so i'm going to actually take this last bracket and go down to here all right because now that was a valid move and so we'll go down there this should work now um, let's take a look. Perfect. So it's going to the lowest available spot. Um, so uh, I may make one more video, but uh, that deals with if I click here, we're going to get an error because we're outside the grid. But I think most people will be able to figure that out on their own. Um, and then uh, there's also the... Uh, um, ability to detect that there's a winner to have the, the program detect the winner that's a much more advanced algorithm um, uh, uh, you know I could show you in a future video but not necessary for be able to play the game you can kind of tell who wins yourself in that regard all right thanks